Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and before I get started, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down works as well, I'm cool. And if you like knife content and you're not already, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Today, I'm going to give y'all my top 10 uh, carried knives all of 2020, so basically, the knives that I carried for sheer enjoyment, because I wanted to, not because I was reviewing it. And, uh, you know, as a reviewer, uh, you rotate knives in and out very often, but you always have your, your core favorites that seem to make their way back into the pocket more than once in a week. So let's get started. Uh, and I will be probably, I will be pairing these up with the knives that I tend to, to match up with them, you know, not really in the top 10, but, you know, when I wanted to match up with a certain knife or I wasn't carrying a uh, knife review in one pocket and one that I wanted to carry in another pocket. So let's get started. First one's only all the way down to the end because I just recently got it, but that is the uh, Brian Brown Knives Jaeger M. Very cool knife. Super, super thin hollow grind. Look at that. That awesomeness right there. You can see it tapered down in there to a super thin uh, fine fine edge still got to review this one so far I'm loving it there's a few things that that I don't like so much and uh, probably gonna have to fix but excellent action slices like a dream and for some reason I seem to pair uh, the, the Jaeger up with the Strider PT a lot um, both awesome knives and just a great little duo right there. This is also pretty slicey as well. Uh, just get a little bit more cutting edge on the Jaeger. All right, the next one, in my opinion, could be the perfect EDC blade, and that is the Chris Reeve Knives Manundi. Just an awesome, awesome little gentleman's carry knife weighs almost nothing um just has that classic elegant design um box elder on here love how they blast they they, they do like a two-tone they blast like the lock bar and then do a satin on all the other areas and then right on the top right here it's blasted to give you a little bit more traction black pipe clips a little stiff but um it goes in all the uh, clothes that I wear it in got a nice crown spine up here just just an awesome little knife if they do a micarta variant with the micarta right there oh I'm all over that but got the Manandi and of course you know I had to pair it up with its 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 brother the Sabenza 30 what is it 35 31 <laughs> it's late when I'm doing this video sorry with the box elder as well um bronze anode thumb stud still breaking in cool knife uh, i think I, I i like the the new inlay where how it's all one looks more like the manundi just a great duo right here and any of these if they're available i will try to leave links to all of them all right now this is another uh the last, the last two, the, the Chris Reeves, of course, are USA made, the, the Strider PT is USA made, and here's the Emerson Mini A100, another USA made, just simple knife that works well as a tool. I made the custom micarta uh, scale, OD green micarta scales, because the textured uh, G10 that comes on, it's just a little too harsh for my hands. Uh, 154 cm blade easy to sharpen it's got a chisel uh, secondary bevel means it's only got a bevel on this one side down here and then just like basically like a little micro bevel going on the back side uh, got peak gray oversized thumb studs almost a must I got a bench bench made deep carry clip and I used that one because that's the only one that would fit on the contouring I did on these scales cool knife and this is a little odd pair up, but I, I, I did this several times. 
and that is with the JG JG Knives Scout Custom Scout. Uh, just a, a beautiful knife, almost too perfect. <laughs> um, I the reason why this one didn't get put in pocket yet is because I have a price comfort curve, you know, on how, how comfortable I am to use a knife, you know, is how much I carry it usually. And this is probably my most expensive knife in the collection. So I don't, I don't baby it. I'll cut stuff with it, but I'm not going to try to thrash it. I'll use this one over this one. If I got both of them in the pocket, beautiful, perfectly done hand rub, satin blade, stupid smooth excellent action awesome knives right there alrighty the next one another American made knife the Protec Malibu uh, I've gotten a good bit of use on this one you can see mine's getting some battled up scars on there 20 CV blade steel aluminum scales amazing button lock and all I, I handled several of these at my local shop, and all the actions on them were all that awesome. I've owned both blade shapes, and this one's the one I like the most, the reverse Tonto. Uh, so I paired this this one up. You know, I was trying to keep that tactical look, or as far as the color goes, and paired it up with the Riot Bushido, Bushido, however you want to say it, the carbon fiber and the hand rub satin blade um you know uh, this one is fun to carry i tend to you know use this one harder though so great little duo this one does have a hand rub satin blade kind of like on that jg scout m390 blade 20 cv so pretty much the same blade steel super smooth but american made chinese made all righty next up Wingman EDC, Ma, what is it, MTNT Mach 1, just a, another timeless design. I mean, that, that blade shape, you know, is just very useful, comfortable handles, very, very, very lightweight. L Max blade steel, it, it holds a good edge, uh, just looks good with that, that layered blue black G10, and I love Tom May's designs. And being that this one's super lightweight uh, and it looks classy, I paired it up with another classy looking knife with a longer blade on it. And this is the Monterey Bay Knives uh, Old Guard or o OG M390 steel, carbon fiber, titanium, nice, comfortable. Both of these uh, blade, the heat treated on them. Uh, a okay, good to go, and a great duo right there. Alrighty, next up. Now these these next five saw a bunch of pocket time in the grand scheme of things, and next up is the Quiet Carry Waypoint. This is in my top five right here. This is the number five spot. Thin, lightweight, completely rust resistant. That's, you know, for me in the South, the rust resistance is the main reason why it gets the most pocket time, but I also love the way it looks. Action on it is stellar, comfortable in hand, uh, just a very minimal footprint, awesome knife. And when I'm keeping that thin, you know, theme right here, I paired it up a lot with my modified Benchmade bailout. Uh, great pair. You got uh, M4 blade steel, which is not a stainless steel. And, you know, uh, it's a very tough steel. And it, it holds a good edge. So this is the workhorse in, the, in the, the, the thin package. And this one is my corrosion resistance. Still holds a good edge as well. So a great duo there. And I think they, they look good with that monochromatic look. Alrighty, in the number four spot. Number four is the Richard Rogers OEM Slim. Very cool knife. I, I really wish that he would have made a bunch of these. 
I think he made like 300 or something like that. I don't know the exact number. Uh, I don't know if he's making any more. But super cool uh, little folder. Very, very, very light. Uh, M390 blade steel. It's just got these dual fullers for the deployment. Very smooth. Like the Spidey Flick, this one. Perfect size for my medium sized hands. If you got big old mitts, this wouldn't be a good one for you. Uh, you got an inset liner lock. And it's not something you see that often with uh, titanium scales. And, and, and then you have a liner lock in there. But I, I, I'm glad they did that because I don't have to worry about putting any pressure on that lock bar. Especially with a smaller knife where you don't really have any place to put your fingers. You know, I usually put my fingers on the clip on a bigger knife. But cool knife. Uh, and being that this is a small one, I paired it up with a, with a much larger knife and a much more stout knife. And that would be the uh, Rick Hinderer Fire Tack. Oh, man. Uh, I had been chasing one of these for a long time and finally picked one up secondhand. And I love it. I've been putting some miles on it comfortable in hand it's wearing some aftermarket scale burlap micarta scales probably the smoothest almost the smoothest knife in my, my collection it might be the smoothest knife and this is on teflon people eat your heart out teflon haters uh i love this knife 20 cv steel it's got that working finish or whatever it's called on there um his heat treats are awesome solid solid workhorse great duo right there Alrighty, in that number three spot, what could it be? The next is the Pena X Series Apache. Uh, I own every one in this little series, the, the Swayback, the Trapper, the Mu uh, not every one of them, I'm sorry, I forgot they came out with two new ones. But I own four of them, I think, or three, no, four of them. And this... This is the one that got carried the most. The Mula, probably the second carried the most. And then the Swayback and then the Trapper. But it just has that that, that custom look to it. Um, very reminiscent of Pena's custom designs. I uh, love the Micarta with the titanium bolsters. I, I just I think that's so classy looking. Um, excellent blade shape right there for what I, what I like to use my knives for. M390 blade steel, bolster lock. Uh, very very smooth action and I'm not a front flipper fan but these top ones like that I like them you can do the reach around on them and they're just a lot easier I, I don't have to worry about pushing a lot of pressure on, on on a front part of a flipper which usually kills my hands and of course if I'm carrying this one it just looks so classy I had to coordinate with this one very often and that was would be the Spider Coast Spy Opera. And I'm gonna be honest, this whenever I carry these this one, I, I I would go for this one just to have that coordination, like my boy Copper Dice. So both excellent knives. You can still pick up the Spy Opera. Um, unless he does another run of these, these are sold out. Alrighty. In the number two spot. Would have to be my Hender 3 inch XM18 uh, non flipper. It's wearing some, I think these are, I think RC Blade Works. I'm, I'm not 100% on that. Uh, it's, it's OD Green Linen Micarta with the working finish. Getting starting to take some, uh, some character love on there on both sides. Just a, an awesome little knife. I, I, I hope they do some more three inch non flippers uh, soon because this is just perfect, you know, heavier duty knife for me. I, I absolutely love it. Comfortable in hand. You know, I can I can use it back here because I don't have that flipper tab sticking out and I can choke up. I would love my my grail and this would be uh, uh, Bowie in the three inch non flipper and uh, the Warney and the slicer. <laughs> I would take any of those. I, I absolutely love it. One day, one day. I'll, for right now, I'll just keep my fingers crossed. So, for this one, I, 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 I felt like carrying two tanks and another coordination on my end. 
and it would go with the Alliance design, Bangarang, Matt Christensen design. Uh, now, even though these are both muscle powerhouses, this knife comes down to a nice keen edge. And as you can see, I mean, my, my most carried knives, they, they tend to start getting some, uh, some battle marks on them. You can kind of see the, but it didn't go through all the way through to the coating, which, you know, I don't really care either way, but both really cool knives. Can't say enough good. I mean, everybody, this is on the triway, stupid smooth. Everybody knows how great these knives are for their intended purposes. All right. Now, the number one spot, I know anybody who's been watching my channel long enough knows the number one spot, I'm sure. Not that hard to figure out. And that is my Oz Machine Company, Roosevelt. Just checks all the boxes for me. Uh, this is a custom from Oz, O-Z, Oz Machine Company, because I know I, I, I don't... I don't pronunciate too well, and a lot of people ask me what I'm saying. So, you got the ABL steel blade because this is one of this is one of the first 20. Mine is, I think it's number 18. Yeah, mine's number 18. Now he does all kinds of cool things. I would love, love for him to put a swedge on this one. He's now using Zephanet uh, blade steel, which is basically LC 200N. And look at that fat car the camo fat carbon dancing off the lights right there just absolutely stunning this thing it, it it's hard to you know i wish i could feel how light this thing is it's light with the titanium scale when you have all tie but man that carbon fiber makes it stupid light black tie mascus pocket clip that's got a purple anno on it my lights aren't doing any justice uh titanium hardware titanium backspacer just a beautiful knife it's very smooth um, and the, the 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 noise the sounds it makes are just oh so nice with that big cutout it kind of resonates through the blade love this one Oz machine company Roosevelt and some more coordinating the, these, the, the top three there was a lot of coordinating going on and paired it up a lot with this TRM Adam that's right now wearing the um, the contoured and milled um, carbon fiber scales I also have a set of micarta scales but just wanted to feel like a new knife again so I swapped them very easy to swap both of these USA made 20 CV steel on this one uh, you know if I got something a little rougher to, to do. I'm going to grab this one over this custom that I could never get again. Not this exact one. So, you know, that's just the way it rolls sometimes. So there you go. That's my top 10 most carried of 2020. You know, uh, it, it, it's, been a, it's been a great year uh, for the knife community. They, they've had so many awesome knives coming through. Um... Uh, I cannot wait to see what 2021 has to offer. Hopefully, we, we can kind of get out of the, the crud that we've been dealing with all this year. Um, I'm very hopeful and positive that it's going to be a much better year. Um, I appreciate every one of you who've uh, supported me from the beginning and all my new supporters. I appreciate every one of y'all. Uh, and I'm very sorry that I didn't get to do the giveaway yet. I, I Like I, I said in my last video, I literally just got one of the last prizes in. So uh, I'm going to be throwing in an extra prize since I'm, it's taking me so long. And I'm, I'm going out of town for a week uh, come tomorrow or whenever. I don't know when this is going to get posted, but... Going out of town, so the giveaway is probably going to be right after Christmas or New Year's, one of the two, and I apologize for that. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. And like I said, if any one of these are available at the moment, I will leave a link, and I will probably just leave a list of all these, you know, what, what they are down below. 
just so if you want to try to find one in the secondary market, if they're not available, you know, there you go. All right, guys and girls, hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.